Okay, so yes, running. What I will do is take that off so we can see what's going on. I hope they can see what's going on. Bit of insulation in place, like so. Close down the microwave, go to zero and go one, two, three minutes. There we go. Now, what's happened? Don't look at those sparks. Okay. Um, what's happening there is that the, um, the bits of metal are in fact sparky between each other, yeah. and the um, the spark is in fact is already is a plasma, which is a really good absorber of microwaves. So in fact, I'm actually getting microwaves straight into the metal by that spark. Okay. So I've actually set up such a way as it will um, it will spark a bit. Yeah. And then once the sparking's over, hopefully the crucible will start to come into action. It'll pump that down. Yeah. And uh, the whole thing up to temperature, we melt the metal and we're there. Awesome. Trouble is if you get a spark in one place sometimes, you can be a bit of a worry because it'll eat its way through the crucible. <laughs> Which is not ideal, no. Is like a the very bright light is we've got we've got we've got a constant arc going. Yeah. Which I'd, I'd rather have the crucible heating nicely. Okay. Yeah. But I went for the, the spark this time to see. And it's it's gonna be transferring energy around the place, but we might be making a hole in the crucible. But, hey, we'll find out. <laughs> How are you going to find these things out if you don't do them? Yeah, okay. Is it going to force your... Just if you just walk this way. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. I think it's looking good. I wonder how close we are. We'll give it the three minutes and see. Here's our three. Do we have multiple metal yet? And the answer is yes, we do. How about that? I'm going to give it just that tiny bit more. Another. Ooh, let's see about that. <laughs> Another 30 seconds. We're very cold. We're very cold. That wasn't bad. That was three minutes. Leave away. Yes, indeed. Okay, there we go, we'll call that out. Taking that out. Take this out. Check that it's well molten. You can see I can handle the actual refractory by that. Just check that the metal's well molten. Is pick it up, turn it over, and you can see the molten metal in the thing. Hope that's okay. Stand it in the sand. Oops. Till it cools down. There we go. Hopefully, there's three little elephants in there for Sophie, my daughter. 